great fit and finish on this car. It just received all new glass, wheels and tires. Obviously it was restored at some point in its life. We don't know when, but it had to have been a recent restoration with how nice the fit and finish on this car is. You guys can just see the metallic blue in the paint shining. Just received a full paint correction. Really nice car. Power disc brakes up front. This still have drum brakes in the rear. 350 under the hood. Four speed Muncie manual transmission. Doors open and close very nicely on this car. Does have the desirable houndstooth interior, bucket seats, center console. And the seats are like new on this car. I mean, check out the backs of the seats. Like I said, this had to have been a recent restoration. We don't have tons of documentation on this car. We got the car basically the way you see it, aside from what I mentioned earlier in the video. Got your rose wheel. Throughout this video, if you guys have any questions, you can reach us here in Columbus at 614-276-7355. We're only about 15 minutes from the Columbus airport, so if you guys want to fly in, check this car out, or take the simpler route, hire a licensed bond and inspector, and get it shipped to you. We ship cars anywhere in the U.S. We ship cars out of the country as well. Been in business since 1996. Obviously, you just heard we do offer shipping on cars, but we also do offer financing as well. Check out the rear tail panel on this car. You guys can see the fit and finish on it is super nice. Again, just received all new glass, quarter windows, rear window, front window, side windows. You name it, it's all new. I think that's one thing people tend to lack on on restorations but you know everybody's got their budget we're not digging on anybody but i think when you've got really nice glass on a car you know it's not all swirled up and scratched up it just really takes the car to the next level and i know most of you guys will agree just wanted to comment on that but this is the look-alike tin of glass these cars would have came with almost that greenish hue to them and i believe they call it green tint as well but again, it is sitting on a set of Riddler chrome wheels. You do have Kenda tires all the way around. We've got a 255 45 18 out back. Again, another Kindle, Kenda radial up front. I'm trying to see the tire size on this one, I did forget. We've got a 215 50 17 up front. So you've got 18s in the rear and 17s up front. It gives it a really nice staggered look, obviously. Let's go back around to the driver's side. Again, just a really nice car, simplistic car at that. See, it just fires right up. Looks like somebody did add some aftermarket gauges down here. Got oil pressure, bolts, and water temp car was just idling so you'll see that the water temp will start to come down momentarily. Odometer reads 66,036 miles. Can't say with certainty if it's actual or not. All your dash pad looks super nice. No cracks, no nothing. The paint up here is all new. That has been redone on your dashboard. Your lower dashboard section and on your tail panel in the back. We did all that when we had the glass out of the car. But just a great sound, guys. Nice mild cam, nothing radical. We'll make our way around to the front and we will pop the hood. Whoever purchases this car is gonna get a really nice driver. But it's going to turn some heads, too. The fit and finish on this car is really nice. Let me go ahead and pop this hood for you guys. I'll show you the 350 under the hood. Alrighty, guys. Here's an engine bay shot. Again, 350 under the hood. 
you'll hear no knocks, no ticks, no weird noises. Looks like the underneath of the hood has been sprayed uh, like a mat or some like that flat. Looks like you got ceramic ceramic coated headers, metal block intake manifold, got a matching metal block four barrel carburetor as well, nice detailed engine bay, champion aluminum radiator, and a great sound. But alright guys, let's go and jump in this 69 Camaro. We'll take it on a drive, see how she does. All right, guys, just pulled out of the showroom. Gonna be taking this Camaro on a short drive down the road, show you guys that it is a running and driving vehicle. Again, throughout this video, if you guys have any questions about the car, you can reach us at 614-276-7355. We're happy to answer any questions you guys have about it. Go ahead and slow down for these railroad tracks. Sorry about the loud semi-truck there. But you guys will be able to see no knocks, no ticks, no grinds, no pops. This will be my first time driving the car, so I'll share my opinion with you guys. Unfortunately, as you guys saw during the walk around, the only thing this car lacks is AC. But we do have a performance center. If you guys would like to add vintage AC to this car, you can inquire on that. You guys can see the car starts off great. speed you guys see me swerving up here I'm just trying to avoid these potholes coming up all your gauges up here work including your speedometer most of these older cars have a bouncy speedometer but that car this car is not doing that go ahead and come down here and make our usual u-turn and stay out all that dust and dirt right there. See our indicator turns off like it should. Hopefully the GoPro doesn't overheat this time. We got our 72 Chevelle out on a test drive right now. Just got a bunch of motor work done to it, so it'll be ready for the next customer. We wanted to change the cam in it, make it more driver friendly. So that car will be coming here soon. But all right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here before the GoPro overheats. It's about 95 degrees here in Columbus, so. Appreciate you guys keeping up with us. Press that subscribe button like the video. We will see you guys in the next video. Take care.